all you have to do is just go ahead node and type the file name VS code .js and hit enter and as you can see we have just executed this JavaScript right here and during the rest of this tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to actually get to this point and start testing your JavaScript code in VS code editor you can't really run JavaScript in VS code if you don't have node.js installed on your system if you already have it that's fine but if you don't go ahead and install it from their website the latest version is 16 so I'm gonna go ahead and download the file and click on it and just continue clicking next and go through all of these installation checkpoints uh, it really doesn't matter just keep clicking next and install it's gonna take a while so I'm going to speed this up a little and go ahead and click finish in order to check if node has been actually installed I hit Windows key and the R key and type CMD now that we have this command line open go ahead and type node dash dash version you'll see that we actually have it installed if you see this version showing up when you run this command pretty much you have node installed globally on your system which is exactly what we're looking for now go ahead and open your VS code editor and start a new file let's go ahead and save it as doesn't really matter but let's say um, vscode.js and I'm gonna type some JavaScript code here let's say 1 plus 1 or something like that hit control s then go ahead and go to terminal new terminal now in order to actually execute this file here I have to navigate using the terminal to the actual folder where it was stored um, on my computer it's OneDrive and desktop because I saved this file on the desktop if you saved it in some other folder go ahead and CD into that directory you can check if you can execute node from here and you will see the version which is a sign that it's installed globally remember how we named this file here VS code.js so all you have to do is just go ahead node and type the file name VS code.js and hit enter and as you can see we have just executed this JavaScript right here basically this is the simplest and the fastest one that there is if you want to just test some JavaScript code um, let's say you have a function that returns 100 and you can execute that function let's delete all of those control s then go ahead and hit up arrow on the keyboard and it will scroll through the previous commands so let's go ahead and run node vs code js again and as you can see we we have ran this function and output it 100 so i hope that this tutorial helped someone out there who's just starting out with vs code and trying to figure out how to run javascript in visual studio code editor